Hey friends, welcome to A Little Of It All. My name is Taylor. On this channel, we mainly do cash stuffing and budgeting videos. But don't be surprised if you see a video pop up on nails or maybe a DIY because I do love A Little Of It All. Thanks so much for choosing me to spend some time with today, friends. I really appreciate it. My husband and I are on a journey this year to save money, to buy a house. Then we are growing our binder collection and expanding our sinking funds. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss a single or video or update on this crazy fun adventure that we are on. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I'll know that you're here, friends. I really, really appreciate it. Guys, we have a really, really fun video today. We are doing our nails. I've already got this hand done, but I'm going to be doing this hand with you guys. Um, so let's get it going. Okay, guys. So before we get started, let me just go through and show you what I use to do my nails so I have these um, and I'm gonna link everything down below I got most of this from Amazon um, and if I didn't get it from Amazon you can get it from Dollar Tree you can get it from Walmart like this is definitely budget type situation so these are um, mini nail buffers um, this is the brand um, and as you can see, like it comes in quite a ginormous pack. It will take me probably 80 years to use all of these. Um, so I've had this pack for at least a year now, and this is how many I've used. Um, so uh, this is what I used to just kind of like buff out my nail and kind of rough up the inside of the nail to make it just uh, more abrasive to adhere to each other. So um, I use these um, and we'll go ahead and pop one out for me to use today. Then what I use is alcohol and cotton pads and I just, you know, normal <laughs> whatever kind of cotton balls this is a 400 bag that I've had forever and then just alcohol um, and so I use this and then I have super glue this is what I was buying this I got from the Dollar Tree this little guy right here and like on this package you will actually see if you ever buy it from the Dollar Tree like it says on there nails like there's like a little nail picture on there and so I was buying this for at least a year um, and then I found this on Amazon um, and this doesn't show a nail picture on it, but it's the, ex like, literally, it's the, the exact same <laughs> thing. And this was on sale. It was, like, a pack of 12 tubes for, like, $5. And so this was a better deal, except instead of paying a dollar for this. And so I bought this pack and have been using this pack for about a year now and I keep like one of these in my car I keep one of these at school with me I keep one of these um, in my purse um, you know just various places throughout the house one of these is in my nail bag and I still have one left then for as far as the nail art you know uh, or as far as the nails go I do definitely want to show you guys these so this is what I use so there were two different nails that I got originally my husband actually got me these and I had ordered a different set of nails that were a little bit more um, I don't know how to say it like turned in at the tips like they curved down more and for me and my life and how I lived my life, those were absolutely awful. They would like split and crack down the middle, y'all. It was wild. I don't know what I was doing. Um, I don't know what kind of wild mountain that I was living, like what was happening, but they would split down the middle. And so what I was going to do is like I was going to, because it came in a pack like this, right? So I, I was like, well, I'm set for years. Like I can just use the pack that I bought. Then I can use the pack that he bought. And like, I'm not going to have to pay for nails for forever. 
But the pack that I bought, like, I kept, like, I was putting my nails on, and then, like, I was using super glue, so, like, those bad boys were on there, right? And then a couple days later, I kept on having to take my nails off, and it was hurting, because these nails, like, three, you know, on one hand were, like, split down the middle, and I was like, I can't live this life anymore, so I ended up just getting rid of those nails, and I just use these now, and um, they work fabulously for me. I love these so much, and so they come in a pack like this, and they have a variety of different sizes, and so what I did is I just used my label maker and labeled, like, which ones work for my specific fingers, you know, because everybody's fingers and nails are different, so I didn't have to, like, guess every time and be like, now, which one was my thumb and which one was my pointer finger and so on, and so that's how I did it, and so these are the nails that I use. Again, of course, I'll link them below. And then as far as the nail art goes, you can, of course, do whatever you want on these. You could, you know, paint them. You could, like, put things on them. You could, you could do whatever you want. But what I do is I put color strips color like you know nail stickers on top and so um I have a whole bunch of these these used to be sold at Walmart I don't know if they are still anymore but they're like coconut nail art um they're like bought in cocoa but through some investigation through my end I found out that they are um like a sister company or a parent company of color street nail strips and so like this is like the more expensive brand and this is like the off brand but they're literally the exact same kind so um i do think these are sold on amazon as well um you can get these online and so it comes in um this and you get two sheets like this and so like obviously that's more than you need and what you can do a lot of times is um, you will have leftovers and so <laughs> what I'll do a lot of times is then I'll do like hodgepodge nails is I'll like combine a couple of different um, sheets uh, like hodgepodge and like I'll have two from this strip I'll have three from this strip one from this strip and it'll just be like all kind of crazy nails but I want to use up what I have um, or what a lot of people can do if they have short nails is they'll like cut these in half and they'll put like you know half on here you know half on here and so you you can even get more bang for your buck that way um, I used to do that but then it just got too hard and it just took too much time. It was too tedious for me personally. Um, but that is Color Street. And then there's another brand that one of my friends uses called Dashing Divas um, that she has a lot of luck with that she really loves. So there's also Dashing Divas out there. I think Ulta sells them. But I really like Color Street. I am going to give Dashing Divas a try. But I cannot personally attest to them to say, like, they're great quality. They're not great quality. So just um, know that going ahead of time. I do love Color Street. And they stay for forever. So when I do my nails like this, I can get about two and a half to three weeks like this. So that means I'm doing my nails once, maybe twice a month. Um, and I've been doing my nails like this since about 2020. Um, and it's just, it works for me. And I would definitely consider it like budget um, because all of this together, you know, like when you have to buy it all together, um, you know, it, it costs, you know, an initial cost, but after that, it's not costly at all. This nail clipper I also got from Amazon as well, um, and you'll see when I use it. This came from either Ulta or maybe even Dollar General. I can't remember, but it's like a cuticle clipper. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So my first step is I take off my nails from the time before, and how I do that is I get, um, water in a bowl I microwave it for an, a minute and then in that bowl I put either nail polish remover or acetone just two capfuls I put Dawn dish soap and get it you know kind of frothy and then just some olive oil just for like moisturizing purposes with my hands and then I soak my nails in there um, sometimes I'll also like clip the nail off um, just to get it like even with my fingertip um, to make it easier for the the liquid to get all you know like underneath the nail um, and then after that I'll soak them f you know for however long I think I need to and I'll pop the old nails off give everything a good washing let them dry and then I get started with this process so the first thing I do is I'll take my little buffer square 
And then I just kind of buff out any, you know, kind of rough spots from the nails before and then kind of just, um, you know, get everything kind of cleaned up and um, smoothed out for my next set that I'm about to do. So I'll speed through this so you don't have to watch me do this <laughs> over and over again. So this is, this is how I do it. Okay, that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna take my cuticle clipper and anywhere that just kind of looks yucky around the nail, I'll just kind of clip that back um, just to kind of make sure I'm flush against over like on all the edges. that looks good. So I'm not gonna do anything else right now on my nails. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to get my fake nails out and I'm just gonna rough, rough them up on the inside. And then what I do is I take my buffer again and I just kind of rough up the inside and I don't even know if this does anything. In my head it does, it just kind of, makes it abrasive okay makes it just a little bit rough to where it is not smooth you know because it's shiny in there and so when i put the super glue in there to me in my head if it's not so shiny and slick then it's not it's like it's gonna stick better i don't know it makes sense to me maybe it makes sense to you too. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Okay. So let's just buff these out real quick. Those look perfect. Our next step is to get a cotton ball. And then I get some of my alcohol and I squirt some alcohol into a cotton pad and I give my nails a good wipe down. Get all around in the quick. This just kind of dries everything out and wipes everything off to make sure we are good to go. So do that, and then I also wipe down my actual um, fake nail that I'm gonna be putting on there because when I um, buffed the inside, um, it, uh, you know, there's like dust in there because you basically like sanding it, you know what I mean? And so I uh, wanna wipe down all of that dust because we don't want that dust particles to be getting in and creating a barrier between our super glue and our nail. I think those look pretty dry. So let me show you how I do the gluing process. So I take my super glue, okay? And I take a nail. I'll just set it right here for right now. So the first thing I do is I put some super glue on my actual nail. And I do a very light, very light coating all over the nail, okay? So just kind of squeeze some out and then just kind of run it everywhere all over the nail okay cover 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 full coverage all over okay there we go okay so then I take the nail and spin my super glue around the right way and in the bottom part of it, from side to side, I just cover that part. And I make sure to not go too high. 
but I do want it covering, you know, a good bit. Turn it over like this. And then I line it up as best I can. This is honestly the hardest part to make sure the nail is straight and not lean in one way or the other. When I think I've got it right, I will just press slowly. Okay. And then I just kind of press in the center and in the sides to make sure there's no air bubbles, which is gonna happen. But, you know, I try my best to make sure we're good to go. I take my little cotton pad that's got the alcohol in it, just kind of wipe around on the sides and stuff and just kind of press, 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 press. Pressing and repressing. And there we go. So that is how I do the gluing process. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and speed through the rest. We are all placed on there. So what we need to do next is we need to clip these bad boys down to a level that I like. Um, you know, I don't like them too, too long um, for me personally. Um, so this is what I use to clip them. Um, and uh, I got it on Amazon, like I said. And the way that I do it is I just place the nail in there and I just kind of gauge what I think is going to be a length that I want and it's going to go flying and so it goes like this there it goes <laughs> so that's a little too long for me still so I'm just going to go back in again and let's see let's see I think I like let's do yeah let's see that Okay, yeah, that's much better. So it's a little bit slanted, as you can see. I'm not great at cutting these nails in a straight line. But we're going to fix that when I um, file them down. So let's go ahead and clip them all. Okay, that looks good. Um, even if they're still a little too long for my liking during the filing process they'll get down to what i like them to be so for filing what i do um not a whole whole lot but i'll go in and i'll just kind of like even up the sides because they kind of flare out on the sides just a hair so i'll just kind of make sure the sides are even get those kind of looking looking right looking right looking tight get those looking right and then I don't, sometimes I file like this, but how I normally file is, which I know is not great for the vantage point that we're at. So let me scoot down my file like this. Maybe that'll help us. Is I file like this. And I try to hold everything straight. It just kind of gives me that level straight across that flat manicure look that I'm trying to achieve and then I kind of round the corners not like a like a round corner but a corner that's not going to stab me um, and get caught on things so just kind of round off the corners a little bit that is looking good poor moi so let's do the rest Okay, guys, we are almost done. All we have to do is just put our stickers on and then just get those evened up. So I've been using Color Street for long enough now that I know, you know, kind of which stickers work well with my nail size and all that jazz. Um, so, you know, if you get these and, you know, you, you'll just kind of have to play with it and see which ones work well for you. Um, 
but both of these sizes will work for my thumb um, so that's kind of why I um, save one is so I'll have an extra thumb for later if I need one um, but how I apply these um, is like this so I peel off um, the clear plastic cover that is on the nails and then I peel off that tab now that is normally how you're supposed to use the um, use it to apply it to your nail but I don't do that I get one of these little guys you know like a cuticle pusher and I do like this onto the cuticle pusher and use it to place onto my nail like so and then I just kind of you know use my thumb to press all around and there we go sometimes it kind of hangs off over here because that one is still so big and I'll just kind of like do an outline like this around the edge and it's real easy to kind of pull that that extra away and it not look bad so there we go so I just kind of let it sit and I don't do anything with it right now and then I use this big guy for my middle finger and again I just pull off the tab and then pull it away from the paper and There we go. Okay, so next step is to file around where the sticker, the nail strip is. So each Color Street nail um, strip comes with one of these files and you just kind of file around the edges of your nails and it will you know you can kind of see my nail right there like it started to kind of pull away and when you think you've got it all filed off what you can do is just pull it off like that and if it doesn't completely come off in one area um, you know just go back to that area and then just file it off and it'll fall off and then your nail will look like this and you know clearly over here where I was a little bit off it's you know still looking a little wonky that will come off when I get in the shower the next day so there it is and you know just same thing over and over again That's it. That's our nails. That's how I do them every time. I hope that you liked this video. I hope this was entertaining and you learned something and maybe you can apply it and how you do your nails or maybe you're going to change it up a little bit. But thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it, friends. You guys are awesome. Don't give up doing great things. Bye, friends.